Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rene Gonzalez, and today we're making arroz con pollo, Tex-Mex style. This is where we do it. Uh, you can be Cuban, you can be Mexican, you can be Puerto Rican. Everybody has their own version of arroz con pollo. So we're going to start with about uh, five pounds of uh, drumsticks. Okay, so just your typical, not frozen, thawed off drumstick. And what you're going to see here is stuff that we grew up making. Big cuts of meat, inexpensive, but to uh, feed a lot of people for a little bit of money. Most important thing with the chicken to start is you want to make sure you wash it. And that's boring, but it's true. You want to make sure that you clean off each part of the chicken. Nothing fancy. You can take a scrubber, nothing like that. Just want to make sure that your chicken is clean. Most of the food that you're going to see, and this comes from this house, the food with soul, food with the, the poor spirit, which doesn't mean you can have good food, it just means you can feed a lot of people. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we got our chicken kind of washed off. I'm going to put it in this pot, as you can see over here. And we're going to fill that up with water. Okay, so we got our chicken filled up with water. We got an onion. So we're going to start off with half an onion. So, basic onion, I don't know how to measure an onion, but that's what we're looking at. All right. Yellow I prefer over white. Uh, number one, for the price. Number two, uh, Yellow onion to me is a little bit sweeter than your regular white onion. All right. I'm going to kind of peel it, cut it in half, put it fancy, All right? And then we're going to take this and we're going to dice it in four, All right? Four pieces there, and then same thing over here, four pieces there, okay? We're going to take salt. Now look, salt is one of those things that you can mess up or you can be great at. The salt right here, typically, you're going to do, I'd say two tablespoons, but for me, in my household, we do rings. So, this, so you know, this size of pot right here. It's going to take about two rings. What does that mean? That means two rings around the thing. One, two. Okay. So you get that going there. Mix it up. Okay. And then we're going to add some comino to our mix. Comino is one of those tricky things you can't pour it out. It's better to take the top off in this amount of water. I'm gonna go two tablespoons, and I'm being generous here. One, and two. So all of this is gonna get the ball over here. We're gonna put our flame on high. I'm gonna take our chicken, onion, salt, and comino. We're gonna mix it. So this is the patient part of cooking. It's not a fast meal, but it's a meal that you can feed a lot of people for next to nothing. Um, so we're going to get that started, and then we're going to come back to the next step of it. So the trick with this is, is you it's hard to put a timer on when the chicken is actually done. Okay, And I know that's scary for a lot of people who are going to try this meal or try this recipe, but Later on, I'll show you some of the little secrets to tell you when it's actually done to add with rice. So to sit here and tell you, oh, put it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, is not going to do you any good because it depends on the size of the chicken, on your pot, and obviously your, your heat source. So that's not going to do anybody any good. To me, when you cook, and if you cook from the heart and from the soul, 
you have to be involved and engaged and you have to you can't walk away from your meal you got to sit there put some music on get you something nice to drink and watch and cook your meal and i'll show you exactly so i want to take one piece of chicken looks pretty good but i'll show you exactly the secret to know when it's ready for you to add to your rice and when you start your rice okay so now for the rice we're gonna add two cans two eight ounce cans of tomato sauce this it doesn't matter what brand it is honestly tomato sauce is one of those things that you can get away with okay so you have two eight ounce so you got 16 ounces of that those who care to measure okay tablespoon in this household is a tablespoon so we like to do one per each can which means one per each cup so we're doing two cups if we did one we would only use one for one tablespoon same thing goes with our garlic salt now you can kind of go easy on this if you want depends on the household so we're just going to do one and a half on this particular one literally one and a half we're going to rely on the uh, seasoning from the uh, chicken broth that's cooking there which is still going okay so we're going to take half an onion right in the middle take skin off And again, these are things that you can actually cook and not break the bank. And you can cook it on a Sunday and it's gonna last you pretty much all week, depending on who's in the household and how much you choose to eat. So we dice up a quarter of onions, put it in here. Now, here's the secret, here's the trick in this house. And it's cilantro. Fresh cilantro, typically you can find it anywhere it's for three bunches for a dollar. If you're not familiar with it, that's one bunch. So you can find three of these for a dollar. And the trick with these, if you want to take it, it's like a plant. So you take it and you want to put it in a cup, a little bit of water, put it in your fridge. It'll last a long time. You don't have to buy it all the time. Anyway, definitely want to rinse off your cilantro. Cilantro uh, is one of the things that people either love or hate. Those who love it, who really love it, those who hate it, hate it. So, in this household, we love it and we think that it adds a lot of flavor. So, we use it for pico de gallo and a bunch of other things, but today we're using it for arroz con pollo. Alright, so you can be as generous as you want. So, the trick with cilantro, a lot of people think, is you want to cut off all the stem. That's not true. Most of the flavor actually comes from the stem. So you just want to cut off enough that's been handled and touched and leave the rest for your flavor of food. Okay, so we're going to take our rinse cilantro. So you kind of want to go maybe an inch, an inch and a half away from what you originally bought. Okay, so now you have all this and this is flavor. Now we could leave it like it is, but that's kind of, that's kind of a mess when you go to eat it. So we're going to kind of just chop it up. We're gonna mix it with our wet ingredients, okay? Okay, so we have our wet ingredients here that goes with our rice. We have our cilantro, we have our half an onion, we have two tablespoons of comino, two tablespoons of garlic salt, and again, it's typically one tablespoon per one cup, but we're doing two cups of rice. So, this is what we got. And we're gonna let this sit and marinate for a second. And we're gonna check on our meats. Okay, so we're checking on our chicken for the arroz con pollo. And the secret with these, you don't need a temperature gauge. You don't need to know how long it needs to go. The chicken will tell you when it's done. So what we're actually looking for is once this starts to show, expose the bone, then we know that 
this chicken is done and ready to move into our rice. So as you can see, it's not there yet, but we'll come back and we'll show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so we're going back to our chicken. And this is a little secret there where you can see that the chicken is just about done without needing a timer or a temperature gauge. And that's when the bone on the bottom end starts to expose itself. Okay, you can continue to cook this, but this is about the point where we're going to start preparing the rice. And then we'll add this and the broth here in a second. So we got our big pan heating up. We're going to add vegetable oil. And this is one of those things that depending on the size of your pot or pan rather, you can't really measure. So I always do rings. One, two, three. All right. Easy way to go about it. And basically what you want to do is cover the bottom of the pan or pot that you're using. You want to make sure that that's nice and hot. And one of the tricks to know if it's nice and hot and ready for your rice is you take a grain of rice and you drop it in there and if the rice starts to dance it's usually letting you know that it's time or the temperature's right so this particular rice is not so it takes a second so we'll come back here in a couple of seconds and check it again okay so we got our oil in the pan it's nice and hot you can see it's separated kind of gathered on the corners and we're just going to take our two cups of rice and evenly spread it around. We're checking our chicken one more time. And as you can see, all of what we talked about earlier is starting to expose. And that lets us know it's about as done as it needs to be before it gets added to the rice. So we're going to brown the rice. Brown it a little bit and brown to the color of cinnamon. Not necessarily anything dark in that. So kind of a cinnamon color. We're gonna let that continue. We're gonna use the stock that we created out of this uh, chicken. And we're gonna combine it all together and uh, show you how it's all done. Okay, so as you can see, the rice is starting to kind of get a little darker in color, kind of cinnamon look. Now, here's a common mistake that a lot of people make when making rice is they use this. This is a no-no when you come to Mexican rice. This is plastic. What plastic does and this rice is hot is it melts. And you won't know it, but tips of your spoon will wind up in your pan and that's not good. So you always want to go with a wooden spoon. It's expensive, doesn't burn, uh, excuse the noise, but as you can see, you kind of just around. And you can see the color starting to change. We don't want to burn it. We want it to be just brown enough. Kind of a cinnamon color. So, just wanted to give you that little pointer so that you never use a plastic spoon when you're cooking your rice. Okay, so we have our rice almost to a cinnamon color. And again, it doesn't have to be exact but this is a Tex-Mex version of Mexican rice. Okay so we browned it now we're going to take our wet ingredients that we added earlier cilantro, onions, comino, garlic salt, tomato sauce and then we're just going to add this. We're going to be careful to add it. Okay so remember this whole pot, the pan really is hot. So we're going to add all of these wet ingredients and we'll even call them a paste ingredient because they're not really wet, as you can see. Right? So our wet ingredients are going to come after this. Right? So, kind of turn this around, pop this around, let it all mix in there. So as you can see, right? And it looks pretty, but we're not done yet. So here's where the star of the show comes in. So we're going to grab. Again, our chicken is exposed on our bone, so we know that it's ready to make friends with the rice, if you will. Right? So we're going to take this, and if I'm not mistaken, this is about 
maybe 10 pieces of drumsticks, which is as inexpensive as you can get. Right, some of these are even better. And sometimes the better, the more exposed, the better the rice is going to be. Because right? so, we're not going to waste any of the stock. It's going to go right back into the rice. Okay, so we're going to fill the bottom of this pan. Now keep in mind, rice is going to expand. I have some more pieces in there, but I want to show you what it's going to look like. And I'll add these, but I want to make sure that you get these key points. The rice is going to expand, so we're going to use our stock from the chicken. And we're going to add this in here. And the idea is to cover, number one, the rice completely, and if possible, just about three quarters of the chicken. And you're not going to get them all exact, but the majority of them you can get them covered. So this is taking some time and I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over to real life and we're just gonna use a big old measuring cup. Now the trick with rice is that you move it one time and don't move it again. You don't sit here and turn rice anymore. You can add meat to it at this point, but you don't wanna sit here and be turning it. So that's pretty close to what we're looking for. We're going to reduce the heat and then we're going to cover it and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we added all the chicken. So from this point, we still have some chicken stock and we don't want to get rid of it. We're going to use this later on if we need to add some more liquid. So in this time, we're going to reduce the heat, get it down to about two or medium low, if you will. We're going to cover it. And we're going to let it rest and I'll show you a secret to let you know how rice is telling you when it's done. Okay, so our arroz con pollo, you can see that the rice is starting to expand, which is kind of a good indicator to let you know that it's, it's done and it's ready to eat. Uh, good rule of thumb is you grab a little bit from the middle of the pan or pot and you taste it. And of course, if you feel the texture is like too, too hard, it's just like spaghetti. You gotta let it go a little bit longer. Uh, this particular one, because of the chicken broth and everything else we have, it's ready to go. As you can see there, um, our chicken test earlier, right here, the bone completely exposed. It's completely done. So now from this point, we're just gonna remove the heat and we're gonna let it rest. Now the trick with rice is it, it still has moisture so if we cover it and let it sit here the longer it sits the more it's going to mash together uh, so depending on when you're serving it like right now would be a good time to serve it directly and you can kind of see usually from the middle and it tells you that the rice is expanding again if you cover it and let it sit too long, then the rice will become different in texture. Some people prefer it that way. Some people like it grainy. So there you go, inexpensive. Uh, with this cost to make, I would honestly say under $7. And uh, you come up with something very expensive and really good. So give it a shot. We'll be there, but we have uh, our arroz complete here, garnished with some cilantro. Provecho.